Mario. Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Hello everybody, Joan Lee Poffle here, and it's great to play this game. It's a fantastic game, I don't know if any of you have not played it, if not, shame on you. This game is the most fantastic game I've played. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites, I go back to it every once in a while and play it. So I decided, hey, why not record it, it'll be a fun time. So anyways, let's get this thing started, and that's the cameraman, and he'll introduce himself later. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via warp pipe, using the controller as a piece of cake. And it's funny because she promised us cake, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> Nintendo. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read science, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now, head for the castle. Alright, let's go. Triple jump, flip, dive, dump, choo. Alright, time to talk to the cameraman. Good afternoon, baby. The Lucky Toe Bros here, reporting live from just outside the ca princess's castle. Mario, baby, you've just arrived on the scene and we'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change that camera angle by pressing the C buttons, baby. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz just to make it look, make a look at the surroundings and stop, stop, and press up on your C stick. Press A to resume play, baby. Switch camera modes with the R button. Sign lo signs along the way you'll view. I can't read. I I don't know why. I had this issue earlier today. Whatever. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lack Lackitude Bros. I think it's weird that it's the brothers and it's just one of them right now. But you know what? I'm not going to judge. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram! And don't come back. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Toad. You're a ghost. But anyways, let's get started right away. I don't want to waste any time. I'm not going to really baby this. Um, it's just because it's a game that I love playing so much, I'm not going to baby it. When you're smack in the middle of the battlefield, you'll find the power stars with Bowser stole inside the world paintings. First, talk to the bob on buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some of the other characters by facing them and pressing B. Thanks, I'm not going to talk to any of these guys, because they're not helpful. They're like, hey, you're in here. They tell me where to go, and I know where to go. So no need for that. Don't need to waste your time with that. Oh, good. Well. <sighs> good start, good start, Jolly. Jolly pop a good start. So anyways, this is Chain Chomp, and it's great stuff. I have... I cannot tell you how many times I've walked by that chain chomp and gotten destroyed. Ugh, but it's it's so good. There's there's it's it's okay. We can live up to the challenge of being attacked by a chain chomp for this game. Um oh ow. Anyways, um I won't I'm playing this on my N64 and not on virtual console. Just because I don't want to um, buy it on Virtual Console. I don't see the purpose in doing that since I already have it on... I have two copies actually. Well, one's my aunt's, but we have two N64s in my house right now because my uh, brother, Simon Jith, is um, doing a versus with me, Banjo-Kazooie. But that aside, um, I, I don't see the point in me buying a new copy. The only thing we've ever bought new copies of is Banjo Kazooie for the uh, Xbox Live Arcade, but that's it. So, anyways, this is King Bob Omb, and he's really easy to beat. Um, all you have to do is pick him up and throw him. But I think he sees your mustache as a challenge or something. I don't know. He seems pretty angry. You can start walking in a direction and then he'll stop turning. Um, I remember one of the first times I was ever playing this game when I was battling him. I kept trying to throw him off the cliff, and I'm sure all the other people did that too. But 
It, you'd think that he'd get hurt jumping off the cliff, but no, he's perfectly fine. It's just like, oh, this cliff, I see that it's a giant mountain. Well, too bad I take more damage from being thrown two feet than off of a mountain. I almost wanted to throw him off the mountain just so you guys could see what he does. He does this, like, super human, I guess he's not human, he's a bomb, but superhuman jump and, like, flies up on the platform again. It's pretty great. Uh, I'm going to be doing these mostly in order. I don't have, like, a specific set order or anything, but I do want to, uh keep things and not jump around to all the levels at different times. I'm going to try to complete a level at a time, at least as much as I can. So anyway, here's Koopa. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat Big bob -Bum? Cool. You're strong and pretty fast, so how fast are you anyways? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the Quick? Don't think so. Try me. Just about to race the match up. Where's the Big Bob-Bum was? What do you say? Where does I go? Ready, 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 are you ready, are you ready, are you ready? Go, go, go. Okay. I voice him as hyper and stuff because I see him as a hyper person because he wants to race. And I'm not saying people who want to race and do track stuff are hyper. Um, I just think that Koopa, who's like Koopa the Quick, uh, everything about my life is being fast. I, th I feel like that makes him genuinely a fast speaker because he has to have everything quick about him to be Koopa the Quick. Um, I don't remember if it's cheating to use the shortcut, so I'm not going to use it. That could be my mistake. I'm not going to lose to him, because he takes, like, a minute to get to the top. A minute, 30 seconds, something like that. Something really obnoxious. But anyways, whoa, that was close. Oh, come on. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario, you can do it. Uh, whatever. So let's dive to the top. Aha, less than a minute. I could have done that plenty better, but whatever. And what I always do, and I've always done, is jump on top of this thing. Ah, so good. Anyways, now we have to wait for him to get up here, because he's really slow, so let's crawl around and stuff. Oh, there he is! Well, let's watch him come up. There he is. Alright, here he is! Oh, you really are fast! A human blur! Here you go! You want a fair and square? Uh... Yeah, we, we'll see him again. I'm, I'm fairly certain we do. Anyways... That's the second star already. We're going through this pretty quickly. This game is not a very slow game until you get to like the later levels where it gets really complicated and annoying. It's just like... Let's, now that you know how to do all this, do some really tedious tasks. And there's this one. This one is really bad. We're peace-loving bob -oms, so we don't use cannons, but if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you. Bon voyage. I remember when I was a lot younger, um, I didn't know that was French. I was like, what does bon voyage mean? I didn't Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim, then press A to fire. You're, if you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. Um. Anyways, I remember I was like, "What is a bon voyage? What does that even mean?" Anyway, I can never make it from this point, so I'm gonna just try. No. Nope. I don't even know if you can. I feel like if I, every time I try to go higher than that, I, uh, I go way too high and fall even shorter than that. And then there's even this one. This one I, this one I don't get all the time. Woo! Just barely got it. That was, that was risky. So anyways, we'll be getting this. I remember, uh, I was on my practice file and I took, like, six or seven tries to get up here. I kept firing over the tree and getting the red coin, and it was really annoying. But anyways... Let's see and continue. You've recovered three power stars, now you can open a door with three on a star. But we don't have to worry about that yet! I like, uh, jumping into paintings. It's, it's just a cool concept to me. Um... It, it 
Um, a lot of the games, like, in the N64, at least not a lot of games, I suppose it's only two, really, but it's two games that I play a lot, so that's why I, I guess, saw it as a lot of games. Um, Banjo Kazooie and this game, like, very, very orientated around, um, geez, camera, camera, let's go, uh, very orientated around jumping into paintings and doing things like that. Which I think is great. I love, I love that concept. I've been playing, uh, I played Banjo-Kazooie a couple times with my brother, and he and I both tried to jump into paintings because of this game. And that's not what you do in Banjo-Kazooie. In Banjo-Kazooie, you solve the painting puzzles, and then you end up going on with the rest of the game by going to the actual level. But whatever. No one ever said we're geniuses. This is probably my least favorite red coin to get. Alright, we're good. We're good. Nobody panic. Pretty sure you all were not even looking at the screen. Or you watching. Yeah, I did think that was gonna work. Oh well. Worth a shot. Oh, jumped over that. That was risky. I decided that my choice word is just gonna be risky. This episode, as you can see. Oh, oh my god! There we go! Flip! I really like how agile Mario is. He's just like, he's like, oh, you need me to perform these simple tasks? Let me do it by jumping and flipping and everything. Just like dive, flip, jump. Like, who does that? <sighs> As, a good, uh, the, as you can see, the bombs that are not um, red are not nice like the red ones that they said that they were. These ones are very mean and try to explode on your face, which is very bad. You don't you don't want to be exploded on. And that's that's the way you roll. Oh, that was terrible. I'll never say anything like that again. But that's also a lie. Anyways. Got the star. I think I could fit one more in before I have to close this episode off. But, um, let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see what the next one is. I also like how fast this game saves. It's like, you want to save? Okay, you're done. Oh, uh, I can't do this one yet. I can't do this one. So, we'll do this one. How do you unlock this? Hmm. I don't remember. Well, I'm gonna go in here then. Um, for at least a the star. Because I feel like you have to do something in here. You have to get like 10 stars or 5 stars in order to get the red cap. So, time to go to Womp's Fortress. And the first thing I want to do is I actually am gonna see if I can get the, uh. Get. All of the blue coins. Uh, all of the coins. Um, 100 coins. Because I did a speedrun of this before, um, and I submitted it. Um, and it was it was so much fun, and it was pretty good. Um, so I want to just try that out real quick. See how well I could do. Nope, didn't do it right, but that's okay. It's not a this is not a contest speedrun, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to rush as much. So I can take it nice and slow. Um, that was part of the reason why I decided to do this as a Let's Play, is because of the verses between Josh Jefferson and Attack of the Two Cans. But they were playing this game, and they were doing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as well, which I plan to do in the future. Um, but they did a couple events from this, and I was trying them. And a couple of them, uh, I only really entered in this Womp's Fortress one, but that was because um, I was really, really bad at the other ones. Like, I tried so hard and I didn't do it. Yes! Aha! Aha! Poof! Poof! I'm gonna try not to glitch up like I did last time I was here. Ooh, okay. Alright, so I don't have to worry about this. Let me go... Glitch! Oh, I didn't glitch! 
No glitching. Ooh. Get out of here. I don't know why I was not glitching anymore, but that's okay. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not a big deal. There we go. Boom. Oh, okay. I forgot that trying to do five on this is really hard. Unless you're on an emulator. <sighs> that took a really long time. I remember my speed run was something like 125 seconds. Uh, this took a really long time. But, let's save and let's go beat Womp. Because you know what? Why not? We're here. Um. Oh! Gosh darn it. I don't know how these are floating. I really don't. It's like they put this thing here so that you can see that how it would move. And that's not how it works. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, you castles. We pave your roads and still you walk all over us. Do you never say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you, like, if I have a problem with that? Just try to find me, wimp. Well, okay, I will. Do it. Do it. Whoop! Whoop! Oh! Darn it, Womp. I didn't think I was that close to the edge. Hold on, Womp. Give me a second. There we go. I have to talk to you again. Oh, you can't do that to him. Glitching, glitching. Whatever. Go on. Um, that's two hits, and as every boss in like all the Super Mario games, you have to hit it three times. I don't know why three is the magic number. It's like seven's the magic number for Bungie. But anyway. No! Crushed again! I'm just stopping stone after all. I won't gravel. Huh, er, grovel. <laughs> Nintendo puns. Uh, so good. Here, you will take this with you. I really didn't know what voice to do for him. I just came up with that on the spot right just now, so. Whatever. Here we go! Here we go! Yeah. You get extra lives when you get 50 coins. So, thank you all for watching. It was uh, it was a pleasure. It was a very good first episode. I enjoyed it. So, I hope you all will join me next time, and Super Mario 64 is the way to go now. Thanks. See you all later.